This lawn has not been mowed in over a year. And today, we're gonna tackle it and see how Toro's 60 volt super recycler handles tall, way overgrown grass. Here we go. So I come over here and I'm like, where's the mower? It's not in the garage. There's a baby. Where's the mower? He's got it stowed in the corner. Look at that. Smart stow. All right, so we're at Gavin's house now. He just bought this house and it hadn't been occupied in at least a year, yeah. right? And the yard hasn't been maintained in just as long. And I just did a walk around. <laughs> And the grass is so overgrown and we just need to take care of it. So the front yard doesn't look too bad. I was here the other day and I took care of the um, sidewalks here, the overgrowth on the sidewalks, cleaned those up. I took care of the walk up to the house and then around up to the front door. We took care of all that. So that's all done and out of the way. But today we're going to tackle the grass and this is going to be the first mow on the super recycler that we just unboxed in the last video if you missed that click up here in the corner and check it out what are your expectations do you have any what do you think is going to happen you think it's going to be a breeze do you think it's going to be a challenge we're talking like foot tall grass in a majority of the yard here i think when i bought the super recycler i saw all the videos and just like pounding through grass and I watched other reviews and I'm like okay this thing's gonna handle it no problem but once I stepped into my lawn and parts of it are this deep or deeper I'm thinking man this is gonna take a few passes I, I expect it to struggle I, I expect to put this machine you know to the test we'll see we'll see its limits for sure yeah and that's what it's all about and that's what's gonna help us get a really nice review too to see because you know, we want to see how it does on just regular cuts, but we also want to see how it does in really dramatic situations too. So I've got the deck all the way up, high as it can go. We're going to start there and we're going to see what this thing can do. Here we go. Well, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. It was the easiest thing with personal pace because I just pushed it in and then I just pulled it back. I'm lifting up a branch and I'm just slowly, quietly just pushing my mower and it just goes. Before, when I had a push mower, I would have to like lift up the branches and I'd have to like push with all my weight and it was this awkward dance. It just felt so much nicer um, and it didn't seem to struggle at all. It looks a lot cleaner right now. Of course, that was on the highest setting and we can easily go back over this, lower the height down a couple notches or so and really dial it in and clean it up, make it look nice. But the real test is the backyard. It's also worth noting that the battery only used one dot. So only 25% of the battery was used over the whole front yard.
All right, first mo in the books. Woo! What'd you think? It was a lot more fun than I was thinking uh, it, it would be. It was fun. I just had to walk around the lawn, and honestly, I didn't feel like I had to push something. I was super stoked. Just, I don't know, it was kind of fun. Yeah. yeah, and it handled the tall stuff really well. Obviously, as expected, there were some stragglers, but definitely considering what it was going up against, I think it did a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah, I could hear the motor ramping up every time that I got to that thick patch. I just slowed down a little bit and it just ramped right up. I didn't feel like I had to do anything extra. It was kind of automated, which is pretty cool. I think that's that was cool. Flex Force or what do they call? You did mention that the economy blade, the, the standard blade is on there. We want to get that performance blade that it came with on there mm -hmm. and see how it does as far as getting the leaves up off the ground too. Definitely. I, I think that's important. So oh yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. We we'll, might make that a future video. We might just mention it in the review, but we'll talk about it another time. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for letting me come over and try out your new mower with you. That was a lot of fun. Always a pleasure. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.